Hey guys, Caitlin Flutter is here for Canadian Musician Magazine. I'm here with the lovely guys from Ben Sinister. Hello, hello, hello. Yes? How are you guys doing today so far? So far, so good. Yeah, we sort of had to wake up early to go out to Mississauga for a radio uh, radio performance, but we're just waking up now and, and, and we got our our guide today and then we picked up our passes, passes. so here we are Canadian Music Week. You know talking a little bit about that like you guys are here for the festival what do you find beneficial about you know these conferences and these festivals like you know South by Southwest, North by Northeast and this one? Yeah. You know? Well I think it's it's definitely I kind of wish you know when I come and walk around here I wish we had more time to actually check things out but it was such, we were in Chicago two nights ago and we got in last night at about 10 p.m. at night just in time to load in at 10.30 and play our show last night. So today we've had a bit of time, but we've got, you know, a busy, again, a busy schedule of some interviews and an in-store at, uh, at uh, Sonic, Sonic Boom. Boom Records and uh, the show tonight. So, you know, we're going to check out the book and see what we might be able to check out between our all our stuff happening. We've got some time between 9 p.m. and and 1 p.m., 1 a.m. to That's check out some stuff. Nine, one is Nine yeah, and then tomorrow morning we leave for Montreal for another show. We're just, you know, it's a whirlwind tour. We're playing shows every single night. Our only day off is to drive from uh, Ottawa to Winnipeg. So it's it's a bit of a whirlwind, but I mean, I think it's really nice to that, that all, you know, it's, a, it's, you know, Canada's big festival for people to come and, you know, schmooze and hang out and, and in the future, just be nice to actually be here and get a chance to do stuff because we really just sat, we're pretty in and out and so we kind of have to pick one or two things to check out and after that it's uh, it's back in the van. Yeah. Yeah. I got to see my roommate who <laughs> plays in another van so it's kind of fun you being on tour for a month and all of a sudden show up in Toronto at a festival like this and you get to see half your friends from Vancouver or wherever you're from so that's kind of neat. But I mean like uh how does it feel, not, not necessarily feel, but like, to be added to the bill for this? Like, does it, do you guys find that you get greater responses or any you know, new opportunities come up because you are playing at Canadian Music Week? I'm not really sure. It's, uh, it's, 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 you know, I, I, I've, we were just kind of talking about this. We found since we've been in, touring in the States, we're getting more response in Canada uh, for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, I think this is maybe the fourth time we've done Canadian Music Week. And it was, mm. we always have a good crowd. The crowd's always great for us in Toronto. So. Um, I don't know, it's always a good time for us anyways. And like you said, you just got back from tour in the States. How was that for you guys? Did you get a good crowd out? Warm, or? Deadly. Yes. <laughs> uh, we got, you know, it was a lot nicer climate. It was very warm and we had really good positive shows down the coast. And uh, Austin, we played four shows and each one was, you know, totally swamped with people, you know, so it was a really uh, positive experience because we weren't sure sometimes you hear the stories of bands going down there and playing to nobody and being like what's the point you know but we had really good you know we played a bunch of free parties one for Sapporo and this other one for another beer from uh, New York and like it was just you know outdoor shows on rooftops with all these people and free drinks and it was like it was Madness. awesome man Madness. yeah do you find a lot of opportunities like you know uh, playing a show for Sapporo is coming about for you guys lately or um it's all just how you work it. You gotta, you gotta always put your nose to the ground and try to find opportunities, right? You can't just be passive in what you're doing. So, any band, you know, when you come to Canadian Music Week or you go out and you do stuff, you have to, you have to meet people and you have to, you know, schmooze and and talk to people and you know, get the word out there about your music because all the business cards I've got. What well, you've been busy? Oh, like, look at that. I got so many people to call. I don't even know so, where to start. Attack cat. Yeah, it's like these guys, we played with these guys in Nashville, and then next thing you know, they're like, you got to come to uh, Ohio, you know, where we are from, and, and Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland. Cleveland, and uh, and we'll put on a killer show for you. So even though we've never played Cleveland, Ohio, we know that when we go there, those guys will book us a show and uh, bring some people out because they were pumped. So. Perfect. Yeah, so it's always about, you know, being active and keeping tabs with people, and that's how mm -hmm. you create better experiences, right? And connecting with Canadian musicians. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. Okay, guys. So you know you have your latest release, yeah. Small Fane. Tell me a little bit about that. Like, who did you work with? How was that whole creative process? You know. Yes. Post uh, about yourself. Well, Small Fame was produced by Sean Cole, a uh, producer out of Vancouver, and uh, 
mixed by our friend Alex uh, Condor, Alagazakis. Alagazakis. And uh, it's been a real positive, you know, every, we've finally got to put out a record on vinyl, which was really nice, and, and all, you know, the reviews have been super positive, and people are really digging the record so far, and um, yeah, I don't know, I mean, uh, the most thing that we're happy about with it right now is we just put out uh, a video for Black Magic Woman, one of the songs, which is uh, with a 56-piece orchestra, so that's something oh, nice. that that we're trying to push. If you go to our Ben Sinister YouTube channel, you can uh, you can see that, and it's you know a really neat experience to play with a 60-piece orchestra. So, so yeah, I think it's been really positive, and we're just still touring and promoting it and trying to get some more traction in the U.S. and hopefully head to Europe again this fall and see where uh, see where it takes us. Yeah, of course. Excellent. Thank you so much for uh, talking with me yeah. and having the time for us, uh, guys. Ben Sinister, be sure to check him out. That's right. Thank you. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.